Hello, happy Hanukkah. My wishes to all Jewish people, a wonderful Hanukkah. Today is an amazing day. It's the fifth night of Hanukkah. And this night is when there's more light than darkness because there are eight candles that we light. And so therefore, what this night represents is that if you think about in your life, am I more blessed or am I cursed? I have a friend, a very special genius, Yossi Banashevitz, and he said, you know, if there's a beautiful painting, you go to the Louvre, for example, and you see the Mona Lisa. I've been there and everybody crowds around the famous Mona Lisa. Is she smiling? Is she not smiling? But imagine now that a bird came and it dropped droppings on that painting. What do you think everybody would be talking about? Can you imagine there's a poo on the Mona Lisa? So they would forget about the whole beauty and they would focus on the little bit of, excuse the expression, crap. Same thing as in our life. We have so many blessings. In fact, Rabbi Banashevitz, Yossi's father, very wonderful rabbi, told me, he said that it says in Kabbalah that if you took all of your curses, they wouldn't compare it to one of your blessings. So why do we feel cursed? Because we're focused on our curses. Often we have anger, we have resentment, we haven't gotten over them. But the way you get over darkness is by adding light. So you have to think about, am I really more blessed or am I really more cursed? My own life, I'm infinitely more blessed. Sure, I've got things that I would change if I could. But if I had to compare, my life, certainly when you think about what I have today, I live in security. Okay, I'm not rich, but I have food. I have a roof over my head. I have beautiful children. I'm a happy man. Now, compare that to how my ancestors and your ancestors lived for thousands of years. They were under plagues and disease and wars, and they didn't have freedom. And it's, unfortunately, children used to die in childbirth. The average lifespan, I think, 100 years ago was 40 years. I mean, I probably would have been dead. So the point of the matter is, are we blessed? Yes. But when we look at those, those blessings and we realize we're blessed, that is when we are actually blessed. So we wish all the Gentile people Happy New Year. And if we can suggest a New Year resolution is every morning, make a list of your blessings and read it. Because the way it is, is that whatever we have, we get used to. Somebody could be very wealthy, it means nothing. You could live in a beautiful, I actually lived in one of the nicest places of the world. Eventually, it just becomes a place where you live. It's as good as any other. And so unless you consciously thank God, when you wake up in the morning, you thank God for each thing, you become used to it, and then you start to see your curses. This isn't good, and that isn't good, but blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, you're better off than 99% of the world. But all you can think about is how you're worse off. So please make this list every morning, read it, make your own life, and by osmosis, everybody around you, because the happier you are, the happier you can make others, it's automatic, a wonderful, beautiful place. Thank you.